Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and today we are going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Crime Syndicate Power Ring. So this is the final figure in Target's year-long Build-A-Figure wave with Star of the Conqueror. And uh, yeah, this has been a year-long Build-A-Figure wave. I don't know how I feel about these. On one hand, it's cool you always have something to look forward to year-long. On the other hand, it's like, you know... You have this incomplete Build-A-Figure <laughs> that it takes you a year to build. So there is that. But whatever. At the end of the day, we got a really cool Build-A-Figure with Starro. And they're topping it off with a really sweet power ring. Uh, I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. But man, I love the, the metallic green they used on this. I love the Jon Stewart head sculpt. And it looks like they reused some parts from Parallax and yeah this figure looks fantastic so yeah without further ado let's take him out of his little plastic prison here and uh, get into the figure all right my friends so here is power ring outside of the packaging so he comes with a little starro creature which I love that they include these guys um, with the figures you can't really pose them much they're not really bendy but they, they fit nicely on the chest um, then he also comes with his trading card, as you see there, a little 3D rendering of this figure. And he also came with the final piece for the Starro. I'm actually going to do a separate video with that build a piece and the completed Starro, just because it's so dope. And I think it des deserves its own video. So that you'll see that video right after this video. So you won't have to wait too long. So anyways, let's talk about Power Ring. So I am just loving this figure i love the simplicity of the suit it's got a very sort of parallax because i believe they used some components of parallax's uh legs for this figure so i love that look i love the green uh, i love the the metallic green that they used for the upper armor the green line work throughout the suit again kind of very reminiscent of parallax and then the head sculpt oh it's fantastic love this John Stewart head sculpt. It's a little shiny, my one, but other than that, it's fine. He looks great. I just like the facial expression. I like the kind of the wrinkling on his face. Makes it look like a very powerful, um, I don't know, face sculpt. So really love it. Uh, yeah, great job there. So really love this figure. I'm surprised how much I like this figure, honestly. I think this might be my favorite figure of the entire uh, Crime Syndicate wave. And I really hope we get some more. Uh, there you can see the articulation a little bit, little bit limited with the shoulder uh, pads here. But other than that, very highly articulated figure. Typical McFarlane articulation. You can make some really fun poses with him. And there you go. There's the ring. If you can see that there, there's the Green Lantern ring or the power ring in this, in this instance. But yeah, super great design here so yeah he looks awesome and finally let's take a look and see how power ring looks le next to the rest of the crime syndicate all right so there is power ring next to ultraman owlman and superwoman so yeah he looks great next to the rest of the team really wish we got a johnny quick and some other crimes, crime syndicate members. Uh, I thought this was just a really fun wave, and they look great next to each other. So again, Power Wing, Power Ring, jeez, is a Target exclusive, as was all of these other figures. How do I feel about a year-long build a figure? It was kind of fun because he's something to look forward to. Um, I do feel I, I love Starro, so he's well worth the wait. So I'm cool with this. Man, they released so many figures throughout the year that you know I'm fine waiting for a wave like this via Target. I got him via pre-order. I just ordered him off the Target website once the pre-orders went up. So definitely do that. But hopefully you can find him in stores if you're having if you didn't pre-order him. But yeah, final thoughts, I love this figure. It's definitely my favorite figure of the wave just because I love the design of the costume, love the green and black. It just looks like a fantastic figure. So well done, McFarland Toys. All right, guys, that's about it. I will, of course, be doing a lot more content comparisons and so forth on my Instagram uh, page, so please uh, follow me there. As always, thanks again for watching, and stay tuned because you should be seeing the Starro video right after this video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.